Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the five worst truck mods in my opinion. These are in no particular order. Um, some of you might consider them more trends than mods but you still have to modify your vehicle to do it so you can call them trends or mods or whatever you want to call them. These are the five, as of right now, the five worst ones that I can think of. Um, and I think I'm going to do an honorable mention at the end of the video, just because there's another one that bugs me, but it didn't quite make the top five. Number one is going to be the Carolina Squat. You drive around like your truck's going uphill 24-7, like you're pulling an invisible trailer, and if you were to actually even hook to a trailer, your suspension has nowhere to travel, so you're just going to drag your ball across the ground. Now, not only does it look dumb, it's harder on your pumps and your motor it's now pumping everything uphill all the time. It's harder on your transmission and everything because it's constantly having to pump stuff uphill. The other thing is, is it's just really dangerous. Like I said, you have no suspension travel at all. None. I mean, you hit a bump and your trailer's going to bounce off the road if it doesn't catch and break something. So that's going to be number one. Number two is going to be stacks on diesel trucks. Whether it's a hood stack or a bed stack, they're dumb, they're pointless, they're loud, they're obnoxious. They cover your whole truck in black soot, especially if it's your a hood stack. I mean, then you can't even see when you accelerate. And you're covering, at that point, your entire truck in black soot. The same with a stack. You're covering the whole bed of your truck with black smoke. You can't see behind, you can't see out your back glass because it's covered in soot. They're just dumb. And they make everything really nasty and a pain in the butt to clean. And I just don't like them. I don't think they're cool. I don't think they sound good. I mean, your truck sounds like a tractor. And tractors don't sound good. I mean, they sound like tractors. So you put this huge exhaust, you know, this huge stack on your truck, sounding like a tractor looking like a moron going down the road. And then the people behind you can't see because all they see is this freaking long you know, stream of black smoke, it just, it's not a good look. It's not practical. It doesn't sound good. It's just dumb. It doesn't even look good. Number three is going to be stretch tires. Now, I understand people like their big wheels, and, you know, they like the stretch tire look, but it's extremely dangerous. You have no sidewall left, which means if you try to tow anything with your truck, you're going to over load your tires, which is going to, which is more than likely going to cause a blowout. On top of that, they're really easy to cut the sidewalls on. And if you have a blowout, you have nowhere to go. You don't have any tire to catch you at that point because you'll just hit your you know, $10,000 wheels on the asphalt and you're done. So you're going to ruin your set of wheels. I'm not saying you have to have you know a huge amount of sidewall, but you need to have some. I mean... You don't need to be running your tires so stretched it looks like you've got a rubber band wrapped around them. It's a dumb look. It's extremely dangerous. If you have a blowout, you're going to, nine times out of ten, not only ruin your wheels, but you're probably going to wreck your truck. Stretch tires, don't get me wrong, some trucks, they look cool. They're impractical. I mean, you're not going to take a truck with stretch tires off-roading and do any good with them because there's, there's nothing there. You're also not going to be able to tow anything because you have no sidewall to help support the load. So that's number three, stretch tires. They're just dumb and dangerous. Number four is going to be huge exhaust tips. When it comes to exhaust tips, I understand they have a use. They have a purpose. But there's no sense that you have a 5-inch exhaust and a 15-inch tip. It doesn't make any sense after that. you got a 5-inch exhaust and an 8-inch tip. Perfect. But having, you know, a trash can for an exhaust tip hanging under your truck, it looks dumb. And it's also impractical because, you know, it limits your suspension travel. Because, you know, as your suspension travels, it's going to have to hit something, and the first thing it's going to hit your gigantic tip. I mean, what do you... What is the point of having a tip that big? I mean, do you have that little syndrome that bad? That you have to, you know, put a giant tip on your truck? Look like you're driving around with a 55-gallon drum 
welded to the underside of your truck. I mean, it looks ridiculous. And it has no point. At, at, at that point, all your sound's coming out of that 5-inch pipe, and then you just have this huge tip that's doing absolutely nothing but looking dumb. So that's number four, huge exhaust tips. Number five is going to be lifted two-wheel drive trucks. If you're going to spend the money to lift a truck, if you're going to spend the money to mod a truck, why do it to a two-wheel drive? Why not? I mean, you don't even have the option at that point to do what you built the truck to look like it can do. I mean, even if it's just a show truck, if you're going to lift it and stuff, at least do a full-wheel drive. You know, there's only two mottos in this world you should live by. Full-wheel drive, lift it to the sky. Two-wheel drive, keep it low. Okay? You got to keep them low. Two-wheel drive vehicles, low to the ground, man, fast. Four-wheel drives, lift them up. Make them look good. Lifting a two-wheel drive truck is dumb. It's a waste of money and a waste of time. I mean, you think, you know, you can roll around with the four-wheel drive crew until somebody in the four-wheel drive crew notices that your truck is a two-wheel drive, has no front axles, no CV axles, no straight axle, no front drive shaft at all. Then they're just going to make fun of you for having a lifted two-wheel drive truck. I mean, it's extremely dumb and a waste of money, in my opinion. Not that... I mean, it is my opinion, but lifted two-wheel drive trucks are probably the second thing I dislike the most on my list of five worst mods. The first one would be the Carolina Squat or the Cali Lean or whatever you want to call it. Some of these are dangerous. Some of them are just obnoxious. And some of them are just annoying and pointless. Uh... I said I was going to have an audible mention, and it's going to be guys with Dodge trucks, with Cummins trucks, driving around with your tow mirrors out, flipped up, when you're not towing anything. You look like a douche. You are a douche. You make Cummins owners look bad. Please either sell your truck or put your mirrors down. Don't drive around with your mirrors up. I mean, I get it. If all you do every day is tow, 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 leaving them up. Especially if you have manual mirrors. But the little 20 year old running around with his tow mirrors up on his Dodge. Not even necessarily a diesel Dodge. Just any Dodge that they can put tow mirrors on. With his Carolina squat and stuff. We all know you're not towing anything. We all know that you can't tow anything because you got the Carolina squat going on. So please, fold your mirrors down. Quit being a douche and go get a real job. And quit using daddy's money to modify your truck, okay? Anyway, guys, that's going to be the five and the honorable mention. You guys stay cool. Stay frosty. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.